Hello and welcome to Acumatica Tips and Tricks, episode number one, the Acumatica business date. Let's take a look. Now, you'll notice when you log into Acumatica, up here on the top in the upper right hand corner next to your username is a date. This date is called the business date. Now, if I click on it, you'll see it's called business date. I can select the date from the date picker and hit OK. But what is this business date used for? The business date is just the default value that Acumatic uses whenever you're doing data entry on a screen. So for example, let's say we go over here to the accounts payable module and we go in to do a new bill. Now let's let the screen pull up here. When we go do a new bill, we're going to choose the vendor, the date, the invoice number, etc. But that date on the invoice record is going to be determined initially by the business date. Now I can change it. You see it defaulted to January 8th, 2019. I could still change it back to maybe January 2nd, and that will be a, the actual date that gets used on the transaction. The business date is just the default value. Now if I change this, the business date maybe to January 6th, and hit OK, it's going to refresh the screen. Now in this case, because I made a change, it's asking me, do you really want to leave? There might have been something you wanted to save. I'll go ahead and leave the page. When it refreshes, now it's going to pull that default value again, this case January 6th, and put it in the date field. Now you're going to see this get used by any data entry screen in Acumatica that's using a date, a sales order, a purchase order, an accounts payable invoice, an inventory movement, anything will pick up that business date. So why would you bother to use it instead of just changing the date on the individual transaction? Well, it's very particularly useful in a month end type of situation. I would think normally used by accounts payable because you can come up here and backdate your transactions and that way you're not having to manually change the date on every single transaction. That's really the main purpose of it. But just again, remember that it's a default value Beyond that, it doesn't really have any functionality. Uh, the actual date that gets used is the date that's on the particular screen that you're doing the data entry for. That's it for today. If you'd like to help me out, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching.